Hi guys, my name is Anpama and welcome back to my channel Lifeaholic. I'm right now in Goa, my favorite place. We come here so often. This place is really coffee homely. Sa hai. So I'm really, really happy when I'm in Goa. But the only thing is whenever we come to Goa, we splurge a lot of money. We always exceed our budget. So this time around, we decided to go to places where we get good food, but within our budget. So that's the agenda for this trip. We always end up going to commercially known places, Instagrammable places. So we decided that we will go to a little less fancy places, but where we get good food is very good. 10 on 10 milta hai. So if you are interested in saving some buck, then make sure to watch this video right till the end. And also before we proceed, give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it. Let's go. Set in the busy streets of Panjim is the very famous restaurant Konkani Canteen. Quite true to its name, it serves some amazing local food. Honestly, a trip is always incomplete if you don't try their local cuisine. So, we ordered for their surmai thali and prawns fry. And the taste? Well, you can see how much we are enjoying the food. This place is famous for its seafood. So, vegetarians can skip this option. We paired this with a local drink, Cashew Fenny, and had a sumptuous meal at an affordable rate. What else can you ask for? A tip, try to visit this place for an early lunch or an early dinner so that you don't have to wait for the table. During one of our Goa trips, we accidentally discovered this beautiful little unassuming cafe by the Baga River. Honestly, we are quite proud of our, this discovery. There is something about this cafe. It's so raw, yet it has one of the most amazing views in Goa. Away from the crowd, away from the beach, Mayana Creek side is located in a calm, quiet side of Goa. spend hours here just looking at the birds flying over the water, the fishermen, you can even spot people kayaking in the river and the soothing music playing in the background. And what else? You get some amazing food here at really good prices which makes this a perfect budget option and also one of our favourite places in Goa. A tip though, Mayana Creek side is an open cafe and not an air conditioned one. So make sure to visit during the evening, night or late night hours so that you can have a pleasant time. Otherwise, Goa gets quite humid. Next is a very de-glamorized small restaurant called the Saligao Deck. This place opens only in the evening and it's a perfect spot if you are all about some really really tasty food. We were there for our evening tea and had the famous Goan Ross omelette and oysters. They also serve some good evening snacks like bhajis, samosas, vadas and many more and that too at an extremely reasonable rate. Pair this with a cutting chai and you're good to go. No wonder Saligao deck gets pretty crowded as soon as it opens up. Another one of our regular favourites, Vinayak. Notorious for getting pretty crowded pretty soon and rightly so because this place serves one of the best Goan seafood that I've ever come across. Let's just say we have been here so many times and this restaurant never fails to make us happy. Everything here tastes so delicious. 
when here do try their seafood especially their thalis i recommend trying chonak thali pair it with a chilled beer on a hot afternoon and it's my guarantee that you will step out of this restaurant with a smile on your face i've also featured this restaurant in my earlier goan blog i link it up above if you thought goa doesn't have any good street food then you must try norona's corner This is a food truck that comes in during the evening and is open till late in the night. A complete delight for non-vegetarians and serves some really tasty Goan dishes like pork sopatil, chorizo pao, bibinka and many more. And it's all prepared inside this food truck. So the food comes to you straight from the oven. They also have some yummy homemade sweets at very good rates. Also, this place happens to be one of our favorite regular joints when we are in Goa. So basically Goa mein you can survive in whatever budget that you choose to the only thing that is very important is that you do your enough research before going because yahan pe bahut sare bahut sare restaurants hain and um, it is a task to find out the good ones because sometimes the good ones uh, jahan pe bahut acha tasty local food milta hai it might not be as fancy and it not, might not be very commercial bahut zyada marketing नहीं किया होगा हेंस द अफोर्डेबल प्राइसेस तो सच प्लेसेस ओनली गो बाय वर्ड ऑफ माउथ सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू डू योर रिसर्च आई होप दिस वीडियो हैज बीन रियली हेल्पफुल इफ इन केस यू नो ऑफ एनी अदर अफोर्डेबल प्लेसेस इन गोवा जहाँ पे यू नो यू डोंट हैव टू कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन द क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड दैन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कॉमन सेक्शन सो दैट एवरी वन गेट्स टू नो एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो विजिट दर नेक्स्ट टाइम आई कम हियर एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज डू शेयर दिस वीडियो विद एज मेनी पीपल एज पॉसिबल होप यू गाइज एंजॉय टू इस वीडियो इफ यू देर प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू गिव दिस वीडियो अ लाइक एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल बट क्लिकिंग द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन बिलो एंड द बेल आइकन नेक्स्ट डे अंटिल वी मीट अगेन नेक्स्ट टाइम स्टेट इट आई